What's up, faithful? Welcome to the 49ers You've Got Mail podcast presented by Delta Dental. I'm Lindsay Polaris. The NFL season is now underway, and so is a new season of this podcast. Today, we are joined by QB1 Brock Purdy. Brock, thanks for coming back. Thanks for having me. All right, so I did the math. Come Monday, it'll be 210 days since the team got together and played a football game that matters. What are you looking forward to most for game day? I think just the the atmosphere, you know, growing up, you know, you, you watch Monday night football games and you have school the next day, you have school that day, but uh, you come home and it's like, man, you got a game on Monday night. So for us to be, be able to play prime time as our first game of the season and uh, all the boys back, you know, obviously signing back uh, BA and Trent and just having everyone back together, it, uh, it's exciting around here. So we're pumped. That's where I was going next. You've got Brandon Ayuk, Trent Williams, re-signed, restructured. They immediately get added back into practice. What are the vibes like after they both enter? Yeah, I mean, just right, right when we all stepped on the field again, got in the huddle, and you just see everybody back, it just felt good. You know, like, man, uh, this is the squad that we had last couple of years, and, and uh, you know, it's a business at the end of the day, too. So, But for everybody to have their parts come together and, and we're all in the same huddle again, um, ready to just go put up some points and score and have fun. Like for all of us, uh, we're all juiced about it. So uh, when when uh, Trent came in the first day, he got everybody pumped up in the in the huddle. BA was out there dancing. So um, it's all really good vibes right now. I heard George say that Trent Williams has a big aura. How would you describe the Trent Williams aura in the huddle? Yeah, I would just say like just greatness. Like you know, you're playing with a Hall <laughs> of Famer and. Uh, you know, everything that he does is great. He's big, strong, powerful, all that. But he's also just got this, like, demeanor to him that, like, like he's, like, he's smart. He's got all this wisdom, but he's chill. Like, he's just got all of it put into one. So to be able to play with him, man, it's, it's a big blessing. We're all happy the gang's back together. Oh, yeah. All right, so obviously with the Monday Night Football game, you've got an extra day. A lot of playoff rematches happening this week. How much are you paying attention, if at all? Um, a little bit here and there. Um, obviously watching, you know, the Kansas City Baltimore game last night and that playoff uh, rematch, and and then some of the other ones coming up. But um, you know, for me, I'm I'm trying to study study up yeah. for uh, our guys and, and playing the playing the Jets. So uh, that's where my mindset is at. But I'm sure you know Sunday since we don't play, like you know, we do our walkthrough and then we got the afternoon off. So um, it would be fun to watch you know what's happening around the league and, and seeing how everybody's getting off to a jump. Over the course of this season, how much of other teams' games do you catch because you are so busy focusing on what you've got to do on Sundays usually? Yeah, um, I mean, here and there. You know, we, we obviously, like, go over stuff in, in meetings and stuff, so just, like, learning situationally what's going on around the league and, and all that. Um, and then also, like, Thursday nights, you know, Jenna likes to make up some dinner, and then we love watch, just sitting down and watching some Thursday night football for a little bit before I have to study again, so... Um, yeah, we're, I'm definitely tuned in, I think, you know, throughout the year watching other, other teams. Can't stay away. All right, so middle of the practice week, all eyes are on the Jets. You are going to be facing another future Hall of Famer in Aaron Rodgers. How much do you let yourself think about that as a former fan of the game? Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, I grew up watching him and stuff and playing with him on Madden and all those kinds of things, and so it's pretty cool. And uh, But also at the same time, like, you know, similar to, like, the Tom Brady situation, my rookie year, it's, you know, I'm going in and I'm playing, you know, a good defense. You know, I'm playing the Jets defense, and yes, Aaron's on the other side, um, but my focus is on on the defense. But um, it is still pretty cool to, you know, take a step back and, and look, you know, like when I'm on the bench watching, you know, the other team on offense and, and seeing Aaron Rodgers, you know, on the field and stuff. It's pretty cool. But, um, you know, we're all pumped. You know, this defense has played in multiple times and stuff. So, but uh, it's going to be a fun other matchup. Do you have an early memory of Aaron Rodgers just from growing up watching him? Man, um, I think, I mean, just winning his his first Super Bowl, I, I remember that. You know, I think it was his first season maybe as a starter. Um, and then just sort of seeing how, you know, the Packers were going to be after Brett Favre and uh, seeing him come in and rip it and everything. It was pretty cool to watch. You know, as a kid, it's like, man, he's the next, you know, best thing. So, um, and then obviously followed him throughout his career and, and just – you know how savvy he is as a quarterback and his arm angles and the, you know, the way he rips it like he's he's a baller man so he's, he's the best to, to throw the ball in my opinion like as a thrower mm -hmm. it's Aaron Rodgers so. have you met him before or will this be I haven't no yeah okay probably so my first time. probably gonna meet up with him after the game yeah. at least say hello yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure all right so also on the opposition former teammate of yours from Iowa State Brees Hall 
Um, just tell me a little bit about the, that relationship and if there's any friendly text messages going on this week. Uh, we texted and stuff, you know, throughout the off season and then even last year. But leading up to this game, we haven't said anything. So, uh, but I mean, I love Breeze. We're very competitive, um, you know, in college. You know, like everybody has seen him and his comments about us playing Madden, and it's true. You know, we would. I'd be upstairs, he'd be downstairs, and we'd be playing online. And then whoever wins, we'd like rubbing it in in their face. And and uh, but it was very competitive all the time. And then in the weight room, pushing each other, like all of it. And so uh, he's like a little brother of mine, man. And uh, you know, for us to be able to, to be on the same field on Monday Night Football in the NFL, man, it's pretty cool. Dream come true, right? I would say so. Yeah. Fifteen hundred plus yards from scrimmage for him in twenty twenty three. What did you see at Iowa State from him that you absolutely knew he was gonna be a guy in the NFL? Yeah, I think you know just you know, the, the talent that he has, you know, the plays where, you know, he's making cuts and then he's pulling away from the whole defense for, you know, 60, 70 yards. Like he had multiple runs like that. And, you know, like when he runs, man, he glides, you know, he's, he's just a smooth runner. He's, he can see things, you know, sort of in the back of his head and make jukes and spins. And so, uh, you know, handing him the ball off and sometimes the hole not being there and him making something up, he's really good at that. And so uh, I saw it firsthand, you know, for three years in college and, and, you know, watching him, you know, throughout the first couple of years of him in the NFL, it's been pretty fun to watch. So I'm happy for him. So while we're taking a stroll down memory lane, let's catch everybody up on your very busy off offseason. Um, I know you and Jenna tied the knot. Congratulations thank again. You. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what was the best part of that day? Man, I think uh, just the lead up. You know, we didn't see each other um, until she walked down the aisle. And so the piano started going and then everybody stood up and then boom, the doors opened and I saw her all the way down the aisle and uh, just seeing her standing there, uh, obviously with her dad, but I just couldn't hold it together. It was just like, man, I'm about to marry my best friend. And then, you know, this is for forever. And, um, you know, just all the emotions that, that went into that moment. And then finally, when I walked down there and uh, she grabbed my arm and we walked up to the altar, just I felt everything so calm in that moment. Like, all right, you know, it's just us now, you know, so. That was like probably the best moment of the day. And then celebrating after with our family and friends was awesome. A lot of people say the day goes by way faster than you expect. Did you have that same experience? Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything. Just from waking up, it felt like a game day. Like, <laughs> all right, like this is the best day of my life. And um, just the celebration and seeing everybody in our life from every avenue, from being little to the people I met in the NFL or whatever, like all of it. Um, and then celebrating together, um, saying hi to everybody and celebrating. Like just all of it is it happened so fast, but um, man, we, we got the video back and we watched it over and it's just like reliving the best moments and uh, from our favorite day of our life. So, Last time you were on the pod, you said that you did have a hand in planning. So on the pictures that you guys have shared on social media, what can we credit to Brock Purdy? Like if you had a decor decision, a meal option, like what was, what was yours? Oh gosh. <laughs> I like helped out with some ideas, you know, she'd bring me an idea and be like, what do you think? And I'm like, all right, yeah, like, let's go with that. But, um, man, I would say, so like we had the whole discussion of like a DJ or a live band mm -hmm. and, um, you know, she brought up a live band and I was like, I don't know. And then at the end, like, we were like, all right, no, let's do it like live band. And that was like probably the best part of the, the celebration part of it was having a live band and everybody singing every song and, and uh, so I don't know if that's a credit for me, like locking down the decision or what, <laughs> but um, that was a pretty, pretty big point uh, in the night. So cool. And who had the best speech in the night? Oh, man. I mean, uh, probably her sisters and my brother. I'm not going to say who was better, but like they were they were all great. You know, they, they were heartfelt. They were funny. They brought up some embarrassing moments in our life. And then they had the whole place laughing. And, um, you know, when every when they spoke, like everybody was quiet, listening like it was a very intimate part of the night but um so our siblings probably you know had the best part uh, speaking wise how does that big life event kind of feed into year three in the nfl for you obviously sounds like you're starting on a really high note yeah i mean i think it's just the you know reality of what's going on in our life you know um doing life together and getting married and like those are the, the real things that happen you know off the field with you know just figuring out life together and and going at all the challenges and stuff that that life you know brings to the table and, and being able to have a best friend to do that with so um for me getting married was like obviously the best thing that i've done so far in my life and and um and then obviously it helps me just with football and, and the craziness that comes with this lifestyle and and uh trying to stay locked in to to play good and also be able to handle those things that come um you know off the field so yeah getting married and and uh, obviously starting off on a high note, but that was probably the biggest decision I've ever made in my life and 
best decision. So. Niners, protect your teeth and your budget with dental plans from Delta Dental. Get fumble-free dental coverage today.